In this video, I'll show you how to connect an external hard drive. It could be a actually portable hard drive like this one over here, or an SSD hard drive to your MacBook Air, could be M1 or M2. So let's get started right away. The first thing you'll need is obviously a hard drive. Let's take this one, for example, but it works as well with this and also hard drive that needs to be plugged in the wall. It's about the same thing. So the first thing is to make sure that your hard drive is formatted the right way so your Mac can actually read and use the hard drive. For Windows machines, the hard drive is usually formatted in NTFS, while Mac OS uses HFS. The problem is that they're not compatible with each other. So if you have a Mac and you want to use the hard drive on a Windows as well, you'll need to format it in XFAT. And I will show you how. But first, let's connect this drive to the computer so we can format it. The first thing you need is the cable that comes with your hard drive. So usually the cable will look like this one over here. It will have one end that looks like this one and the other one, it's a USB type A port, just like that one. The problem is that these MacBooks don't have a USB type A port. So you'll need an adapter or a USB hub. One of the adapter that I recommend is this small USB type C to USB type A OTG adapter. By the way, every product that I will show in this video, I'll put them down below in the description. So just check them out. They're available on Amazon. So it's very easy. You just have to connect this and one end goes on the side here on your Mac. It has two USB type C ports on either uh, of these. You can connect it and uh, this one you connect it to your hard drive and you're good to go. You can also uh, purchase a USB hub, which is uh, much more convenient if you're using multiple USB type A devices. This one over here has two USB type A port, a SD, a micro SD card reader, even an H HDMI port, all these stuff that the MacBook Air is lacking. So it's quite good that um, you have these options. All right, so this will work the same way. Instead of this adapter, you're just gonna connect it to either of these USB ports over here and you're gonna connect the USB type C connector here to your Mac. So let's do this. So now that we're connected, we're not done yet. Maybe you need to format this uh, hard drive to be able to use it with your Mac. So let's jump right into it. So here on my MacBook, it has recognized the hard drive that I just plugged. It's appearing over here. If it's recognized and everything works, well, you're good to go. You don't need to do anything else. You're done. But what if uh, your hard drive is not formatted the right way and your Mac cannot read it properly. Well, you'll need to go into the apps here. You can launch the launch pad. And now, uh, depending if you have put it somewhere over here, if you didn't touch anything, you need to go into others and then disk utility. This uh, application will open up and gonna see all the hard drive that are, you have connected. So here external, I have my SSD 120. This is what the hard drive we just connected. You're gonna go on it. And this way you're gonna see which format it is. So this one is XFAT. I have put it this way so I can use it on my Windows machine as well as on my Mac. And this is what I recommend you to do as well. If you want to change the format of your drive, all you have to do is once you clicked on it, you're going to go over here where it says erase. Make sure by the way, to do a backup of all your files on, on your uh, hard drive, because there will be lost when you do this. Okay. So you're going to tap erase and here it will ask you to give it a new name. If you want to change the name, if not, you can just keep it this way and format here. You're going to, click on it and you'll have many options. Once you're done, all you have to do is to click erase. It will take just a few seconds and the hard drive will be formatted and ready to be used. So this is it. I hope this video was useful. Please leave a like, a comment down below and I will see you in the next one.